In this video, we're looking at the excellent Sturka S5 rifle scope and we'll discuss why you should consider this as your next hunting or target shooting scope. What's up everyone, welcome Squad Squad and welcome to Slav Guns, I'm glad to have you here. In our previous videos we've covered a lot of precision rifles made for long and extended long ranges and have covered a number of scopes made for that purpose. One of the things that you learned is that for tactical or long range shooting you're typically looking for a number of features on an optic in addition to simply having good image and build quality. Those features cost money and that's why it's not unheard of to spend anywhere from $500 to $5,000 on a scope. But what if you simply want a good scope to go blasting at some steel targets out to 300 yards or need a scope for your hunting rifle where you'll be too busy to use all of the reticle and scope features? Do you still need to spend a lot of money? In this video we're going to explore the Sturka S5 4.5 to 14 rifle scope with the BDC reticle and discuss why it's a great hunting scope and a good scope for those getting into target shooting or want something good for their plinking gun. The Sturka S5 is a mid-priced offering by Sturka, a solid hunting scope manufacturer. We previously did a number of videos discussing Sturka optics including the higher end S7 which you can find linked above. This is the S5 4.5 to 14 featuring the BDC reticle and a 44mm front objective. The magnification range is quite usable for a hunter and certainly anyone trying to shoot some plates at short to longer ranges. You can also focus on targets as close as 20 yards or so. This scope features a 44mm front objective and a 1 inch tube. While it may not be the best scope for early morning or late evening shooting, it will allow plenty of light in throughout the shooting day, including right now it's close to about 6 o'clock and this scope has done a great job here. Like the S7, the S5 is considered a hunting scope primarily due to two features. First, the adjustment turrets are not exposed and are covered by these caps. They're meant to be adjusted and zeroed when you mount the scope to the gun. At that point, you would use your scope BDC reticle or the center crosshairs for point blank range. The second reason why it would be considered a hunting scope is the reticle. All of the current Sturka rifle scopes are second focal plane, meaning the reticle size remains constant throughout the magnification range. Many of the tactical or precision rifle scopes are front focal plane, where the reticle size adjusts with the magnification. This allows you to range find using the reticle. Even though it's not a front focal plane optic, it does not mean you cannot do anything with it except use the center crosshairs. Just like the bigger S7, the scope is available with the BDC reticle. The reticle has five additional stadia lines that you would use with the Sturka app, which would give you five more holds for various distances. This makes the S5 a good scope for someone looking at getting into precision shooting but doesn't want to be overwhelmed by all the adjustments and calculations needed with a tactical or precision shooting scope. What makes it easy to appreciate a scope is having generous eye relief. On this S5 you have 3.5 inches of eye relief which should prevent you from getting scope bite. Although if you put it on a 22 you better not get scope bite. Adjustment wise you have 50 MOA worth of internal elevation and wind adjustments 
with quarter MOA clicks. This will still let you get out to about 900 yards or so with a 308 with a flat rail and about 1200 yards with a 20 MOA rail. This scope is also IPX67 rated, which means it's waterproof and shockproof and tough enough for most environments. The S5 has an MSRP of around $519 and a street price quite a bit below that. I currently have the scope mounted on the Azimuth 1022 build and I've done a separate video on this gun and its various components linked above. Okay, let's put a few rounds down range and discuss my first impressions and the image quality. First impressions, when you don't need to range find with the reticle, worry about sustaining recoil from a 50 BMG, or having absolute adjustments to hit targets at a mile away, you can focus on what you really need. This scope certainly feels really good and consistent with the suggested price. Anything below that is just an exceptional deal. So the parallax and magnification adjustments along with the fast focus eyepiece are smooth and consistent throughout the magnification range. The turrets are once again covered by design, although you can certainly adjust them if you want to. They are tactile and fairly audible with little to no slop between the adjustments. Each click is again a quarter MOA. The image quality is quite good and anyone who handled it has been quite impressed. I apologize if you already heard this, but most people have not. When it comes to optics, there's standard optical glass and then there's your ED or extra low dispersion glass. Image quality is a combination of glass plus coatings. More recently, you've had many companies advertise their scopes as HD or high definition, while in reality, there are no measurements for that. It's simply a marketing term. While this scope doesn't use ED glass, between the optical glass and the Sturka SXL coatings, the image quality is on par with most HD marketed scopes I've used. The reticle. Uh, just, with, just as with the S7, the S5 is available with three different reticles, a standard plex reticle featuring medium crosshairs, a mill dot reticle, which is essentially the same thing as the plex, but it has mill dots in the middle section, and finally this BDC reticle. To get the most out of the BDC reticle, I recommend you use the Sturka app or go online and plug it into your guns, de plug in your guns details. This will let you get a reticle printout with precise distances for each of the BDC Stadia lines. For a more detailed video on how to do this, take a look at the Sturka S7 video linked above. When you just need a good magnified optic without a ton of features, you can get a lot of value for your money. The Sturka S5 can be found right now for under $300 and at that price you're getting an amazing image quality and solid build quality to go along with that. When you put it on an AR-15 or even higher end rimfire rifles, you are going to get an optic that will likely last you your lifetime. Between the three available reticle choices and the mission of the scope, I think the BDC reticle should be the one to pick. It'll give you more functionality at no expense. Combined with the Sturka Ballistic app, you're going to be able to squeeze out a ton of functionality and will even be able to use this scope for getting into long range shooting before spending significantly more money on the front focal plane scope. So that's the Sturka S5 4.5 to 14 by 44 rifle scope. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please make sure you click the like button and share it with your friends. Make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell on in order to stay up to date on our latest videos on the scope, our precision rifle series, and more. As always, thank you for watching, keep on squatting, and I'll see you next time.